Jesus tonight. Let's pray in our hearts today. Truly, oh God, there's nothing we want more but you.
talking tongues for a moment, shall we? From the front to the back, to the left to the right. Just open up your hearts to Him. There's an open heaven over our church. In this service especially. In a few hours will be the end of this year, end of 2016. The most challenging year of our entire history. But God is with us. God is with you. God is for you. Give Him the highest praise tonight. Give Him the highest worship tonight. Just recently, one of my intercessors from Korea, who is actually living in America, just sent me this um, prophetic word. But I really believe it's for our church. So the husband wrote it in Korean and then it was translated in English. It says, City Harvest Church, I'm going to paraphrase it to City Harvest. It says, when this season comes, you're going to come into a new season of God's presence. And His presence will be more real and it will be a beginning of a total, totally new thing, new beginning. And I believe that 2016 is a time of pre preparing for the next season that will come to you. I saw how you've been wearing a strong armor of the truth of God. Something that's much more stronger than what you have experienced in the past. God will heal your inner man in a deeper way. Because so much challenge that 2016 has caused you. I've seen how Jesus is wiping away the pain from your head and your hurting body. Wherever you're hurt in yourself with His cloth that has blood on them. He was wiping your painful places with His own blood. I saw Jesus calling you into your greater purpose. And this challenging time that He's allowing you to go through is because God is saying, I will do even something that's greater in the future. So my children, please endure. Please win. Please stand firm. I will release a bigger heart to you and a bigger love to you. So wait for this time in this coming year. Philippians 3 verse 20, For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that in the future, you will live in the heavenly realm, even more so than you live on the earthly dimension. I see that your heavenly reality will be even more real to you than your earthly realities. This is a season when the heaven is so much closer to you than the earth, and Jesus is closest to you than ever before. God is training you, City of Church, to open your eyes even more for you to live out the heavenlies on this earth even more so. And I believe that to win this situation, it's not just a battle that's in, in the earthly realm, but you live as if your heart and your soul and your thoughts are residing in heaven while your physical body is here on earth. Romans 5 verse 2, Through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Let's just give God a big clap of praise. I believe we are coming into a new season. God's presence, God's power. Oh, God's reality is going to be more real than the earthly dimension. God is taking us into the supernatural realm in 2017. Come on, let's give Him praise tonight. Let's give God the highest praise. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. In about six hours, it's going to be 2017. How many of you are glad that we're going to come into the new year stronger than ever before? They're coming into something greater, something deeper. It's going to be the best year yet in all our lives. If you believe that, give the Lord a big clap of praise.